Welcome back to Miafk in the Sky, aka One Block, where in the last episode we played hide and seek and I met an unfortunate end, losing most of my gear, but with the help of Blue, Zealand, and a bunch of villager training, I got it all back and logged off for the night. Except when I joined back, everything seemed a bit more monotone. So I've just logged in and this empty view is what I get greeted by. Oh my god. I mean, if it wasn't obvious, this is an infinity room, which apparently is really easy to do since the void is just grey. I mean, I was greeted by this screen. I really thought I was in the void. This is definitely the best way I've ever been trapped after logging out. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to... Oh, trapdoors. There we go. Will these go into a bundle? They will. Okay, right. Okay, if I grab some string, a lot of leather, put it together, make a bundle, and I can store all these maps in. Well, I, I'm gonna find out who this is. I'm pretty sure this is blue, but a bundle has actually come in so useful for this. Look how many maps there are. That's like 54. Clearly, they didn't know you could duplicate maps because otherwise they would stack, but that is a silly amount of maps. And I've got the glowstone and I've got the, the item frames. So whoever did this to me, I think it's blue or Zealand, maybe Roman, is gonna get revenge. I think Scope's ships got burned down again. Oh man. So I'm gonna leave the game now. Yeah, just quit it and then relaunch it. Okay, so as you might be able to tell by the fact I'm like being quick about this, Zealand said that it was uh, all three of them that trapped me and Zealand is now relaunching their game to install bots. So if I'm quick enough, I need these more, I don't want to kill them, but I need them to get out of my way. See, Zealand has a pretty slow old Apple Mac. You piece of I really, thought... really think it was going to take longer. Yes, than... that was an absolute atrocious failure. I'm pretty sure the donkey is the death of me there. All right, I'm going to try when like one of them logs on and logs off for the night or something. So we went on to play another revitalized game of hide and seek. But this was a fair chunk of content that I didn't really think would make the cut for this episode. If you want to see it as its own video, let me know and I'll put it out as like a bonus thing. God, I'm so cool. Anyway, this allowed for a little bit of fun, mainly me uh, failing at seeking and hiding. But eventually, Blue decided he would get off for lunch and that is when I decided decided to strike. Alright, I'm heading out guys, goodbye. Er, My okay. See ya. Bye. Where do you log out? Let's okay. trap him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got a replay file, I've got a replay file. <laughs> oh my god, let's get him. Okay, we're right at the end here. Player overview, go to Blue Lot Shop. He's above my house. Yeah, he is. Okay, right. How far at the end are we? Was he actually just above me? Where am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he logs off here. Okay, right, right. If I put this to slow... <gasps> it's there, it's this one block here. <laughs> okay, right. I've got to remove some of my house for this. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of destroying, but I'm okay with that. This block, technically. Okay. Careful, did you just fall in the void? <laughs> really hope this bro is hungry and staying out for a while. You want to make him feel a little more claustrophobic, I think that's what we're going for anyway. So. Right, the ba here's a bad idea, just, just... just there we go, you <laughs> Jesus Christ! It would be easier to just copy them. <laughs> oh, oh, the last one. Fucked up, there we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, give me the remaining ones, I'll put them back in the bundle. Okay. Okay, exit's here. Where? Yeah, Shit. where you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me just poke my head through. Should I just text? Should we DM him now, being like, record next time you log in? Yes. That's fucking amazing. We are geniuses, Zealand. See you around. I agree. In the name of spawn restoration, this platform Hazel started building on day one. It's meant to be a lifesaver to save all our stuff, but it does not cover any area under spawn really, and it looks pretty hideous. So I'm probably gonna be mining a bunch of spruce and then burn down that and replace it with a good looking and possibly functional lifesaver. I mined a whole shulker box of spruce logs. Oh, maybe a little bit missing, let me just... And I was gonna do the lifesaver, but Zealand brought up the point that it actually doesn't really save anything, not at the moment at least. So I put a little poll in, in the Discord server and I'm gonna see what people wanna do. If I'm gonna be using these spruce logs purely for building and not for the elderly lifesaver down here, then another useful building block for me is probably 
Cobblestone and Deep Slate. Deep Slate, I really feel like Blue is doing a fine job of, and I'm happy to just keep buying from him. This is his crane shop here. This is one diamond for four stacks of regular stone. And if I want to build with a lot of stone, I probably need to be the supplier to my own goods. And what I mean by that is, I have a list right here with the actually very small amount of materials that I need for Marindamink's cobblestone farm. This farm is so quick and so easy. And then obviously I can just like set up a super smelter and get regular stone from that. So I am gonna be getting these resources. So yeah, the lifesaver was a project I really wanted to get done this episode. For some reason, I just started making a super smelter and getting a bunch of building materials for my main base instead. But either way, I expanded our little platforms in a style that I'm not gonna be continuing with, but it made space for the farm. Okay, progress jump. So <laughs> after it blowing up and doing a redesign, the cobblestone, well not redesign, just, just following t the tutorial more strictly, the cobblestone farm is now working and it is very efficient. So bam, and look at the, just the output here. I mean, that is a lot of stuff. And with the help from Jay, I put together this slightly simple, I'd say, smelting, super smelter, that's what it's called. My shulker box of wood has completely gone. And uh, I even have a box of stone, another box of stone, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of cobble in all of these that I can smelt down. To be a building block, as I'm sure you can tell. Yeah, I've just put a shape around this. God, that mushroom in the back looks horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna do it from the other direction so you can't see it. But with a stone brick outline, which don't worry, this isn't the final design, I will change it. So it's it's good, it's now producing stone that I can actually build with without spending money at Blue Shop. Also over here, aside from just like decorating the underside a bit more to make that to make the starter base look a little bit more more structured, I <laughs> I've captured a few foxes because I realised that one of them was picking berries and leaving stacks on the ground. So I've captured a few foxes and set up a minecart system. I have put the foxes to slave labor. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. A bit of shenanigans, a little bit of building, but next episode, I promise, I really do. I've said this for like the last two outros. We are gonna get the big lifesaver project done and we're gonna put the materials that we just got into making our first shop. Some very exciting stuff. And then we will be on course to make our mega base. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like and, and everything, all that. And I will see you in the next episode.